I already connected the high pressure line to this extractor tank, which has the extracted material from this plant material as well as the butane in the bottom of this tank. And I've got the other end of the line connected to this empty recovery tank. So I'm going to take that tank, place it in ice water, and this tank, and place it in this hot water. Okay, I've got this tank in the ice water, and the ball valve is opened. Laying it down on its side just like this so that it's got as much volume to spray the condensation in as possible. And I take this tank and I'm going to open the ball valve very slowly, making sure that it doesn't draw any liquid through the line. I only want evaporating butane to flow through. And one of the things that you can do to make sure no liquid flows through is you can prop this up against the edge and give it a slight tilt like that. And then I close the lid. Both ball valves are open. And I come back and I check it in one hour. Okay, we've initiated a recovery process of butane in a Tomissium extractor tabletop model. And I've been getting some requests to show exactly how to use this laser thermometer to determine when this tank is full of butane. And the way that you do that is you shoot this laser at the point, I don't know if you can see that, just about where it meets the ice. And it's 60 degrees. Well, that's kind of high. If I go down here, you know, into the ice water, it drops down to 31 degrees. So what that tells me is that something hot is flowing through this line and going into this ice water. And when that hot vapor completes its run, nothing will be going through this line. And then this area right here will start to reach the temperature of this ice water. So that's how I know when the butane has stopped flowing in this tank and it's recovered as much butane as it's going to recover. Okay, it's been over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes. And this is showing to be 34 degrees at the nozzle right when it enters the water. Yep. And the temperature of the hot bath is around 101, which is good. So we're done recovering and I'm going to weigh this tank to verify that I got all my solvent back before taking this one out. Okay, I just weighed the tank that I recovered the butane into, and I started out with 2165, and I ended with 2165. And I was using pure butane, not from a disposable canister. Okay, I got all the solvent back, and I have the weight that I started with, and I need to open this tank here. I need to disconnect this clamp. And before I do that, I need to reduce the temperature because I just pulled it out of this hot bath. And one way I can do that to speed it up is just drop it here in the ice and let it set for a few minutes and then check the pressure. Okay, we're going to take this and place this on the side port and slowly open the valve. Just till you start to hear it flow. And allow the pressure to escape. Okay, now you can take this off. Unscrew this. Actually, what we'll do is we'll place this back on. Unscrew this. Dry off all the excess water so you don't get it inside of your extract. It's going to continue to condensate. And that's what's inside. So there's no butane left. And the pressure probably relieved whatever vapor of other gas was inside. So I'm going to get a casserole dish and we're going to pour this out into it. I'm not sure if you can see the inside of this, but. Pour that into my casserole dish and let's 
pretty clean. You can see. And that's the 50 milliliters of solvent that I put in as my transport solvent along with the lavender. And if you can smell this, it's pretty strong. So what you do now is you just blow a fan across the top of that and allow the solvent that you added to evaporate away and you should be left with six seven grams of oil maybe five i'm not sure yet but this lavender is a lot more aromatic than the lavenders that i've extracted before so i'm hoping for a little more just to follow up once this solvent evaporates away and leaves the oil behind you'll be left with enough oil to fill a vial about this size halfway and I use almond oil to mix with the oil to help pour it out of the evaporation container into this bottle. But uh, give you an idea of what it looks like when it's done. It's, it's pretty clean. Okay, I poured the lavender extraction with the solvent that I had to transport it out into a casserole dish and you can see you know, it's, it's pretty clean even at a room temperature extraction, which probably got a little bit of waste out that I don't want like waxes, but it's pretty clean. So I'm going to evaporate it away and see how much I got out.